So, Dr McLaren, would you like to present your findings? Okay, this is Paige. She's a six-year-old girl um, who appears very well today. I focus on her cardiovascular system. On general inspection, she has no cyanosis um, and no respiratory distress. My positive findings were a systolic murmur heard all over the precordium with a normal first and second heart sounds. The murmur was loudest along both the, both the upper and lower left sternal edges and was audible in the carotids but not in the back. Um, the second heart sound was normal and there were no signs of heart failure. To complete my examination I'd like to check for hepatomegaly, examine the femoral pulses and check for peripheral edema. My differential diagnosis would include pulmonary stenosis, although the radiation would not support this, a VSD, though again this was more of an ejection, short murmur and I could hear the second heart sound clearly, so again it was perhaps not characteristic and an innocent murmur, such as, for example, a stills murmur. The definitive investigation to um, clarify which of these diagnoses it was would be an echocardiogram. Okay, thank you for that. Um, is there anything else in your examination itself that could have given you some information about the diagnosis? So I'd like to check her blood pressure. Um, it's also was important to note that she didn't have any surgical scars and there was no clubbing, although she did actually have some loss of the nail bed angle, but I don't think it was true clubbing. Um, so these helped to demonstrate that it wasn't cyanotic or complex congenital cardiac disease. Um, I could have asked her to do some more manoeuvres, so if the murmur was quieter or disappeared in certain positions, that would support it being an innocent murmur. Mm -hmm. And anything else you could check to support that diagnosis if it was innocent? Um, so I could check her blood pressure, did I mention that? Mm -hmm. um, check for radioradial delay, radiofemoral delay. Um, her pulse was in the normal range, I didn't mention that in my presentation because I focused just on the positive findings. Um, but it would be nice to demonstrate this and to check her oxygen saturations even though she wasn't clinically cyanosed. Um, and page is six years old you mentioned. Yes, so I'd like to plot her on an appropriate chart for her height and weight although she does appear relatively well grown, perhaps on the slightly smaller size for her age. Okay, and if you did an echocardiogram and that showed an innocent murmur, what would you advise mum? Um, an innocent murmur shouldn't affect Paige in any way, um, so she shouldn't have her activities limited, for example. I'd reassure them that this was not likely to cause Paige any problems. I would always mention to parents general safety netting, so if for example, signs of heart failure developed, they knew when to consult for further further help, but my overall message would be reassurance. Okay, and what signs of heart failure would you tell mum about? Um, so, it were, were this diagnosed when Paige was a baby, which I think they said it was, I'd be mentioning particularly things like not feeding or struggling to feed through shortness of breath breathing very quickly on signs of respiratory distress, as well as just not growing and failing to thrive. In an older child, it might manifest more as shortness of breath and again not growing, as well as perhaps decreased exercise tolerance. Thank you very much.